I work in planning. Um, a fair bit of what I do is related to zoning. And for those of you who know nothing about zoning, I, I won't bore you here. Um, are we in fancy slides? Yeah, there we go. Um, zoning is pretty much what planning is about. Trying to get the information out to people, trying to talk about zoning, trying to think about zoning. What, what he just mentioned, well, let me stop here for just a second. The DSR, we do a fair a couple of things. We do some asset mapping. I think there one more. And we do some zoning and modeling. This is a validated model of, of potential future development in Jefferson County. This is something we worked on for a couple of years. This is these are some maps. The idea is, is that we were supposed to share these maps with the community, try to help them to understand what future development might look like. This map here is a validated, another validated model, kind of run through policy. Um, what does zoning mean? What does future development mean? What does land use policy mean? We built a web map. This is back in 2004. This is built on Drupal. Um, we gave people the opportunity to talk about their maps, talk about this potential future development, talk about how this might impact their community, and how it might impact natural resources and such. The one problem is, is that there are barriers. I've been working on web mapping for a number of years, and what basically this presentation is about is my pet peeves. The barriers that I face as a planner are all um, based on my obsession with stakeholders and making information available to all possible stakeholders. The black box, plugins, terms of service, and generally maps lack impact on the web. And so, by coincidence, Serendipity, I ran across some folks in the basement. They've been calling it the basement for 25 years. This is a Edware map. This is a server-side application. Another version of a server-side application. This is 3D rendering on the server-side. High-impact graphics. This captures people's attention. And in a process like planning, where everything is boring, you need something to grab their attention. <laughs> Computer rendered image. Um, Again, here in Colorado, we, we have benefit of clear days. What happens if we're working in the Northeast? What happens if we're working in the Southeast? What happens when we need to visualize what's going on in our environment? This is a line of sight analysis. Again, it's a server-side tool. Um, it's a simple, um, standards-compliant interface. Real simple, 2000 USGS interface. Um, line of sight, what we're looking at here it's a 3D rendering of what's at the end of that line. Pretty cool stuff. What's cool about the software I've been working with, and Edware in general, is it's large, you can scale from large scale to 2D and 3D, all the way down to small scale. He has a solar incidents web map service that allows him to visualize where solar incidents occurs over the course of the year. Obviously, the red is, is higher incidence of solar, um, solar radiation over the course of the year. And again, it's a web service. This is a 10-year-old web interface built by the USGS. What we're seeing here is a configurable interface. You can render images based on a number of parameters, including your uh, field of view and your viewing cone. You can adjust parameters, the number of parameters. This is only a third of them. But you can adjust the look and feel of your, of your uh, image based on server-side input. So you, and you never know what you're going to end up with. <laughs> Don't let Ed take your picture. Seriously. It'll end up on something like this. But it's cool. Um, again, he's been t developing over the last 30 years uh, for consulting work. And it's nice. It, it solves my problems of, of the pet peeves, you know. No plugins, no nothing. It's WMS. It's easy. And it's cheap. And it gets the information out there. And, it's, and I can engage people in the process. So.